This is the Aston Martin V12 Vantage S. It replaces the V12 Vantage in Aston's lineup and with a 205 mile an hour top speed, it's the fastest car it currently makes. With looks like this, a spec you'll hear about, I think this one's going to be very special indeed. Now this V12 Vantage S is the real best of the best of what Aston Martin is doing at the moment with its VH architecture. It's got the latest engine, it's got the latest damping system, it's got the latest steering, carbon brakes. It's a real technological tour de force and it's got the learnings of more than a decade of Aston and VH in here and it is fantastic. It's just a phenomenally able sports car. Want to drive it normally to the shops yet? Yeah, put it in drive, put the damping in normal mode. It's comfortable, it refines, it rides well. Want to drive it on a track or a road like this? It can do that too. You can play with the traction control, the damping, put it in sport mode, and it just sounds and goes like nothing else. The V12 Vantage was one of Aston's modern greats, but this car just sharpens it in every single area. At the other end, if you want to drive it normally, it's a more refined car in normal mode, but it's so much sharper, so much more responsive at the top end. Downsizing is just fantastic to get in a big V12 engine. Aston has said that its V12 has got another 10 years in it at least. And by that stage, they might be the only ones left making a V12. But when they're this good, well, these downsized engines have got something to compete with. Automated manual gearboxes often suffer with a big torque interruption or with the throttle response. No such problems here. Any gear you want, particularly second and third, the response is absolutely immediate. Now with that analogue feel, we've, we've also got room for some nice electronic trickery as well. The damping, the free stage damping, normal sport track mode. Normal is softer than the old V12 Vantage this replaces, whereas track is stiffer. Likewise with the traction control mode, you've got a track mode which allows you to get the tail out a bit. And on roads like this one in a, in a canyon coming out of the desert in San Diego County, it's just a perfect place to show what this car can do. <laughs> and the steering system is Aston Servotronic, the speed sensitive steering. Put it in sport or track mode and it stiffens up with extra feel and it's, it works an absolute treat on roads like this. We've been critical in the past maybe of some of the Servotronic systems for not, <laughs> for not giving you the feel you want, but it, it just seems to work. It's, it's just a much stiffer, much more sensitive rack, quicker rack, <laughs> and it lets you know exactly what you're doing the whole time. Press the sport button and the exhaust note gets better. Better still, it sounds epic anyway. The throttle response gets sharper. Leave it in normal drive mode and the shifts improve, but you're best left using these paddles. They offer supreme control. And we've got a seven speed automated manual gearbox and it is one of Aston's best. It's an absolute event putting this thing in second and coming out of a corner flooring it. age of digital sports cars with torque vectoring, four-wheel steer systems, impossibly fast shifting dual clutch gearboxes, this Aston, it, it competes, it's just fantastic. It's such a connected analog feel with it. Yes, in drive mode, you might have to make do with, with the odd refinement issue, but this is a full, true-blooded sports car. It's not as instant, maybe as immediate as a dual clutch gearbox, but with the manual control, it really rewards you for your shifts. The best thing to do is just to come off the throttle as you blip it up, and it just sings. It's a fantastic thing. It's got a wonderful connected feeling. Cars like the Vanquish can often feel just a bit too big on roads, in, in the UK at least, and I know this uh, desert road is a lot wider than what we're going to encounter in the UK, but the Vantage has always felt at home in Britain. It's always rode well there, and I don't think we're going to have the problems with this either. The car's just constantly goading you into getting it sideways. You see a corner, put it in second, 
turn it in, off the throttle, back on again on the way out, and get it sideways. On a road as good as this, carbon brakes are a godsend. They, they might have their criticism with some for their feel, but as good as this road is, if you want to get to the bottom, <laughs> get to the bottom and want to do it again, why wouldn't you? You can just go again and the brakes will carry on working. VH Theory is one of constant improvement and when you drive a car as good as this, as good as the V12 Vantage S, you just think they're doing something here. This car is Aston Martin close to its very, very best. It's cars like DB9, core of its business, Vanquish at the top, but it's the Vantage that feels the real heartbeat of the company. The Aston Martin V12 Vantage S is an incredible car. It's packed with technology, honed by Aston Martin for more than a decade, and it drives every bit as good as it looks. In a world filled with digital sports cars, it retains a connected analog feel, the kind that makes you forget about its £138,000 price tag. The best car Aston Martin currently makes? Yep, I'd say so.